Welcome back to our channel, and in today's video, we're going to explore the mysterious world of Batten's disease. This rare genetic disorder affects children and young adults, causing devastating effects on their lives and their families. Join us as we uncover the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment options, and the hope that lies ahead. Let's dive right in. Hey there, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos about health and wellness. Today, we have an important topic to discuss, Batten's disease. Let's get started. 1. Batten's disease. Unraveling the mystery of a devastating genetic disorder, Batten's disease, also known as neuronal ceroid lipofusinosis, NCL, is a rare genetic disorder that primarily affects the it's characterized by the abnormal accumulation of lipopigments in the body's tissues, leading to progressive degeneration of the brain and other organs. 2. Understanding the causes and symptoms of Batten's disease. So, what causes Batten's disease? Well, it's primarily caused by genetic mutations that disrupt the production of crucial enzymes or proteins responsible for cellular health. The most common form, Clan 3 disease, is caused by mutations in the Clan 3 gene. The symptoms of Batten's disease can vary, depending on the subtype and the age of onset. Early signs often include vision problems, seizures, cognitive decline, loss of motor skills, and behavioral changes. As the disease progresses, individuals may experience further deterioration in their abilities to communicate, move, and carry out daily activities. 2. Diagnosing Batten's Disease Challenges and methods diagnosing Batten's disease can be a complex process due to its rarity and the wide range of symptoms. Doctors rely on a combination of clinical evaluations, medical history assessments, genetic testing, EEGs, and imaging techniques such as MRI to confirm a diagnosis. However, it often requires consultations with multiple specialists and can take time to reach an accurate diagnosis. 2. Exploring treatment options for Batten's disease currently there is no known cure for Batten's disease. Treatment primarily focuses on managing symptoms, improving the quality of life, providing support for patients and their families. A multidisciplinary care team may include neurologists, geneticists, therapists, and specialists who work together to provide comprehensive care. Symptomatic treatments involve the use of anti-epileptic drugs to control seizures, medications to manage psychiatric symptoms, physical and occupational therapy, and supportive measures to address vision and communication. Exciting research is underway, exploring potential disease, modifying therapies such as gene therapy and enzyme replacement. 2. Research and advances in Batten's disease. The field of Batten's disease research has made significant strides in recent years. Scientists are working tirelessly to unravel the genetic mechanisms, identify therapeutic targets, and develop innovative treatment approaches. Collaborations between researchers, patient organizations, and advocacy groups have led to increased funding and awareness, offering hope for improved outcomes in the future. 2. Coping strategies for individuals and families receiving a diagnosis of Batten's disease can be overwhelming for families. It's crucial to establish a strong support system and seek assistance from professionals experienced in managing the challenges associated with the disease. Support groups, counseling services, and connections with other affected families can provide invaluable emotional support and practical guidance. Emotional support practical guidance. 2. Support and resources for Batten's disease. Various organizations and foundations dedicated to Batten's disease offer support and resources to patients and their sh These organizations provide access to information, advocacy efforts, financial assistance, educational materials, and opportunities for participation in clinical trials and research studies. Together, we can make a difference by supporting these organizations and driving progress in the field. 2. The role of awareness and advocacies raising awareness about Batten's disease is vital for early detection, improve access to resources, and increase support for affected individuals. Advocacy efforts can drive policy changes, research funding collaborations among researchers, by amplifying the voices of those impacted by Batten's disease, we can foster a greater understanding and empathy within society. Uh, 2. Promising future prospects and possibilities despite the challenges. There is reason for optimism. Advances in genetics, molecular biology, and therapeutic approaches offer hope for potential breakthroughs in the coming years. 
continued research, improved diagnostics, and the development of targeted therapies hold the promise of enhancing the lives of enhancing the lives of individuals affected by Batten's disease and ultimately finding a cure. That wraps up today's video on Batten's disease. Don't skip before check out the description. Thanks for watching.